to welcome you this Monday morning to rise and pray. Lives depend on it. I'm just so grateful for the word. I am so grateful for the song that was brought about this morning. God is turning things around for me. And we can say that not just for us individually, but collectively. And we just praise God for this day. He is worthy to be praised. I want to go to Exodus, the second chapter, starting at the 11th verse. One day after Moses had grown into adulthood, it happened that he went to his countrymen and looked with compassion at their labors. And he saw an Egyptian beating a Hebrew, one of his countrymen. He looked to around and seeing no one, he killed the Egyptian and hid him in the sand. He went out the next day and saw two Hebrew men fighting with each other. He said to the aggressor, why are you striking your friend? But the man said, who made you prince and a judge over us? Do you intend to kill me as you killed the Egyptian? Then Moses was afraid and said, certainly the incident is known. When Pharaoh heard about this matter, he tried to kill Moses. Then Moses fled from Pharaoh's presence and took refuge in the land of Midian, where he sat down by a well. Now the priest of Midian had seven daughters. They came and drew water from the well, where Moses was resting, and filled their troughs to to water their father's flock. Then shepherds came and drove them away. But Moses stood up and helped them and watered their flock. Then they came to Ruel, Jethro, their father, and he said, how is it that you have come back so soon today? They said, an Egyptian saved us from the shepherds. He even drew water from the well for us and watered the flock. Then he said to his daughters, where is he? Why have you left the man behind? Invite him to have something to eat with us. Moses was willing to remain with the man, and he gave Moses his daughter Zipporah to be his wife. She gave birth to a son, and she named him Gershom, stranger, which means stranger. For he said, I have been a stranger in a foreign land. This scripture ministered to me because we are yet approaching the beginning of the beginning of a new year, 2021. And we got to remember that in spite of what happened in 2020, 2005, 1995, to God, our failures are not wasted. Not one failure is wasted. So my sister, my brother, do not focus on your failure. We learn from them. We are called to be alert to what God is saying. In any case, he is always teaching us something, even from our bad mistakes. And we saw that with Moses. God had told Moses, you are a deliverer. And he decided with how we do ambition and anxiety, and we get all excited because God has told us something that we're going to do. You know, we get excited, we get overwhelmed, we tell our friends, and then when that failure comes, we get silent. But God still use Moses in the midst of the failure. And when we see further down how he used that, he was moved with compassion. God moved him with the compassion to minister to the women at the water, Midian. 
and then he had a wife, and then God moved him to deliver the way he wanted him to deliver. So God doesn't waste the thing. He is always teaching us. We can learn from our bad mistakes. Like I said, we have much to learn from. God is so powerful. He is loving. No matter what we do, our loving Father knows. He knew that you was going to make that mistake. He knew you was going to mess it up. He knew he had called you to be a deliverer for your family, to represent your family. He knew you was going to mess that thing up. But he also knows the finished product of what you are going to become once he finishes with you. God does not remind us of our mistakes in such a way that we should have a downcast heart. Sometimes the enemy wants us to physically look at our mistakes, but God has called us to stay in the spirit and not walk in the flesh. When we stay in the spirit, we can hear the call. We will obey the call. We will know the timing. That is the difference of being called and being chosen. When we are chosen, there is no manipulation. We don't try to manipulate that thing to happen. But we stand ready and we stand firm. We stand strong and we stand focused. And God just moves us in, in his timing. So my sister and my brother, stop reviewing, stop looking, stop rehearsing your failures. Our most precious Father, we just thank you in the name of Jesus. Oh, my God, this is a day of deliverance. We're going to come fine-tune and redefine. Because guess what? Today, God, we give you every failure that we have looked at, everything that we have said, I messed up here. I messed up there. Oh, God, I was trying to work it. I was trying to fix it. I want to do what you called me to do, but every time I do this thing, it messes up. God, we give you that. We give you our silent conversation. We give you our silent way we think within our minds to manipulate, try to understand why things don't work out like they should when we know you have called us to do a great and mighty work. Lord, Father, God, we relinquish every form of anxiety to you. God, we lift our families up to you. We lift our destiny up to you. And, Lord God, we know, God, that you take every piece, everything within our lives to bring it all together to show that you will get the glory. You are a great God. God, we know, God, in this time that it is difficult. It is hard. We're trying to pull it together. But, God, we thank you even for the small victory in the situation. God, we praise you, God, for the hurdles that you called us to cross over. Father, we thank you that the, when the enemy comes in like a flood, you raise a standard against the enemy. You give us our breakthrough. You come across us, Father, and wake us in the morning, and you give us the deeper things of the situation that we are dealing with. God, we thank you, God, that you called us to overcome every battle, every storm. Help us to be still and know that you are God. God, we seek you, we seek your word, we seek the finish of what you called us to do in the name of Jesus. Father, let us be patient and let patient have its perfect work within our lives. God, we know that you will finish what you have started within us. Keep us, Father. Don't allow us to walk in fear, but walk in faith and be led by the spirit and not by the flesh. Father, help us to stay in the spirit. Help us to love in the spirit and abide in Christ in the name of Jesus in this hour. Lord God, Father, we thank you, God, for who you are in our lives. We thank you for our family. We thank you for our friends. We thank you for your powerful word in the name of Jesus. God, we put you first. We put our destiny first. 
and we lay our failures before you. Father, we will not focus upon our failures, God, but we will focus in faith. We will surrender, Father, every area of our life to you in the name of Jesus. Lord God, Father, we thank you for the word that you have given us throughout the weekend in the name of Jesus. We thank you for the, the, the great turnover of the country, God. Father, there was a certain amount of peace and there was a certain amount of focus, but that enemy came in to whisper a certain amount of failures. But God, in the name of Jesus, today we silence the enemy in our failures. And God, we keep our focus upon you. Oh, Father, I praise you, God, for this day. This is your day that you have made. And we are rejoicing and we are glad in it, oh God. God, I thank you, God, how you're restoring and how you're tearing down and how you're commanding the enemy that he will not have precedence over each and every child of God in the name of Jesus. God, I thank you, God. You are the great God. You are the true and living God whom we shall serve, whom we shall give our homage to in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, Father, I thank you, God, that today, God, in spite of how the numbers have gone up, in spite of how things are happening and everybody's moving as business as usual, Father, we're going to be still and know by your spirit that you are God. And we're going to hear the call and our heart will know when we are to move. Our heart will know when we are to say things and when we are to be silent. Our heart will know because we wake up in the morning knowing that you are God in our life. And our heart will know when the timing is set for the deliverance, when the timing is set for the destiny that you called us to be. We pray over our younger generation. God, help us to get into position, our young men to get into position and be ready to move forward in the name of Jesus. Father, help them to not look at their failures. Help them to not look at their time they were in jail. (laughs) Oh, Lord Jesus, I thank you because you still yet call them. Lord God, Father, help them to not look at and be reminded what the enemy has said. But, Lord God, enable them to hear the greatness of how you've called them to do your work and your will in the name of Jesus. Help our sisters in Christ, Lord. Hallelujah. To not look at their past and how many men they've been with and how many marriages they've had in the name of Jesus. But, Lord, enable them to see that you are a forgiving God and help us to thank remind them who they are in Christ that you call them to greatness and perfection and perfection that perfection is in you and not in man in the name of Jesus God I thank you hallelujah hallelujah God how you are preparing our leaders and how you're moving out and how you're bringing in and how you're destroying that which is not of you God you call this country hallelujah to do your will and those God, that have done great. Father, help us to be reminded, Father, that our mission is not done because we are in the land of the living. And I, we do not need to remind ourselves of our failure or allow the enemy to remind us of our failure. But we are walking in faith, receiving the victory and overcoming everything that you called us to overcome in, in the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, we thank you for the marriages. We thank you for the relationships in the home and in the job. We thank you, God, because this day we are not going to look at our failures because according to your word, our failure is never wasted. Our failure, it is part of the process of your victory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.